Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Suburban Home Center, Wyoming, Arizona. This is Sandy. Thanks for stopping by. I thought it might you might find it interesting to come along with me while I grow some mushrooms. And I'm actually going to grow them in some toilet paper rolls. I'm taking the center out. And I'm going to do them in a book. Now, you do have to be a little... Don't use just any book. A lot of those old books that you think, oh, I could do it in that. The inks that they were printed with have a lot of chemicals in them. Where nowadays, a lot of places print them with vegetable ink, like your newspaper is um, more than likely, unless you live in a very small town and they're still buying that same ink, is vegetable ink. And that's why you can easily use it in your garden. So I have a big pot on the stove, boiling, boiling water, and the first thing I'm going to do is dip this book and these toilet paper rolls so they get completely saturated in the boiling water. Now my first step is to take the toilet paper roll and we have to submerge it. We have to get it completely soaked. And it just takes three, five, three to five seconds. And then I'm going to put it on a plate to finish draining. It has to cool for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now I'm going to put the book in there. And I'm actually putting half the book in. Because I need all those pages to be soaked. Then I can put the rest of it in there. You can see some, some toilet, toilet paper, paper floating around there. It won't make any difference. I'm just going to kind of flip that open, see how those pages are doing. Now the book takes me much longer to do than the toilet paper, because that's just seconds. And then I'm going to pull it out. And I, I'm actually going to open it and see how my pages are doing. Not all the pages were quite done, so I put it back in. Now depending on your book, sometimes the binding will try to come apart a little bit. There we go. That will be enough. And I'm going to let that cool for about 15 minutes. It's important that you let it cool for that 10 or 15 minutes because it's just way too hot for the mushroom um, spawn. And I have a big bag. I think it's four pounds. The nice thing about this type of mushroom, I can keep it into my refrigerator for about three months so I can use it and use it and use it. See how it's very granule. That's why they call it grain. And so I am just going to spread that around. Then I'll take a few pages, cover it up, and I'll take some more. Now the reason why you boil it is because you want to get out any impurities, anything that might be in the papers either the book or the toilet paper. And that way you know that the boiling process has killed all that. And I'm just going to go through this entire book. Now I'm going to carefully close my book up. And it's going to go in a bag. I'm going to try to get any of those little pieces. And in the Ziploc bag, I'm actually going to leave it open just about an inch. Now if you had a bag that had a breather on it, I'll show you what that is. I'm not really sure what they call it. I call it a breather. You would be okay to just leave it. But mine doesn't have that. So I'm just going to leave about a half an inch so the mycelium, the mushrooms, can grow and 
have some oxygen. So there that is. And it's going to go on my counter. I'm actually going to put it in a brown paper bag because it needs to be warm but dark. And then I'm going to leave it for two weeks. So let's do the toilet paper rolls. This is that breather I was telling you about. It's built into the plastic bag so that air can go in and out right there. So here's my toilet paper roll. It's cooled down. I'm actually going to use this funnel that I use for canning just so it doesn't spill all over the place. And then I'm going to fill that up in the center. And I want to have it filled all the way. So I'm just going to kind of work that down. And that way I can put just the rest of that cup in there. And it takes a cup, cup and a quarter, depending on how far it's stretched out in that center. And I, you can see I already have it in a Ziploc bag before I poured the mushroom grains in there. It just makes it easier. And then you're not spilling it any place. Now it is cooled down. And we are also going to close all but an inch of this. And we have one more toilet paper roll to do. Let me get some of the extra air out of there. And we're going to set that to the side. Now over the next two weeks, the mycelium, mycelium is going to grow inside these bags. And the toilet paper and the book will be completely covered with white. Now the reason I'm using a paper bag is because it's breathable. And so it, the mycelium will just grow and grow. And that'll just sit on my counter. I shut the bag up, except for I left one little corner open just for some more airflow. And we are going to open it in two weeks. I put the date on the bag that we're going to open it, July 13th, two weeks from today. Now it needs to be, depending on who you talk to or read, anywhere from 65 degrees to 80 degrees. And it's usually about 75 in my kitchen, unless I'm baking a lot, and then I can move it. But we will open it in two weeks. I'm going to put a link for where I bought the mushrooms. You can order them a lot of different places. This is just a place I buy them from. And also I'm going to put a link for um, Cornell University. And they have instructions that you can print out. And it's just basically what I do. And if you want to come along, order them this week. And start it. You'll be about a week at behind me, but then you can see the steps when we do the videos on the updates. And you can enjoy mushrooms very quickly after they're done fruiting, because a mushroom is the fruit of the mycelium. And we will, I'm going to show you how to close that bag back up, wait a few weeks, and have mushrooms grow again. So all that is going to stay in their Ziploc bags for two weeks. Then we're put it in the refrigerator for a couple days, 48 hours to 96 hours. And then we're gonna take them out of the bag and we're gonna let those mushrooms grow. The Watch the future videos and see the whole process on growing mushrooms at home in a book or in a toilet paper roll. I'll see you next time.